Doctor, is there any benefit to fluoride, whether it be even a topical in toothpaste or a rinse, something that doesn't get ingested? Well, they can show a, a marginal benefit of using fluoride topically, but they've never compared it to anything like iodine. And the, the mm. one study I saw that used iodine was much more beneficial. So, you know, fluoride versus nothing, uh, marginal, but what if we used something that actually worked? Mm -hmm. It's not beneficial. It's, it's, not even, it's not even safe. Toothpaste contains a warning. Mm -hmm. and it says, keep out of reach of children. That'd be the kind of warning you'd put on a loaded pistol or something. And if the child should swallow a pea-sized amount, you're supposed to contact the poison control center immediately. So what kind of parents given that to a child? Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not safe and it's not even very effective. So it should be off the market. When, it, when you talk about amounts, how much do we consume through the water system versus a little amount that might get swallowed during brushing our teeth? You know, I think in, it's, a, it's a guesstimate because they, nobody really knows because, you know, I used to be a runner. I I drink sometimes three or four liters mm -hmm. of water a day, and you know, and, and if you sit at a desk, you might drink you know one. And so you know, there's a huge variation in the amount of water people consume, but on average, they they guess that about half of it's coming from your your toothpaste, and mm -hmm. uh, mouthwash, and the other half is coming from your water, and nobody really knows. You know, that when you do autopsies on people, you find that uh, people that live in Florida communities already have the level of fluoride in their bones that's associated with the uh, arthritic changes of uh, skeletal fluorosis mm -hmm. in, in our country. And it, it really should stop. 